everyone welcome to today's video my name is amber if you're new today we're doing a summer reset spring and summer are the two seasons that i feel the most like resetting just getting clear on my goals and working towards them i figured we could do that together and chat about our goals and also do some other resetting like cleaning i'm gonna make a vision board i feel like a lot of the reason why sometimes you don't meet your goals is because you're not clear on those goals and exactly what you want to achieve so being clear on your goals is such a huge part of actually reaching them so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna set some goals for the summer together so get out a pen and paper or open up your notion and let's set some summer goals so my main goals for the summer my first one is to be the fittest and healthiest that i've ever been really focus on working out doing strength training pilates all of that sort of stuff and feeling really fit and healthy i just want to feel good and be really focused on treating my body right and eating the right things and working out i just feel so much better when i'm moving my body when i'm working out and i feel like i want to feel that way in the summer like i want to feel glowy and just strong i would love to be monetized on youtube by the end of the summer i feel like that is feasible because i'm most of the way there and i'm really really excited about it i feel like getting monetized is such a huge milestone on youtube i also would love to to work with a dream brand i have a whole list of brands that i would love to work with and i have gotten to work with a few of my dream brands but i'd love to work with a dream brand this summer i'd also love to have at least one paid brand collab i'd love to hit 10k on tiktok at the moment i think i'm around 4k so i feel like that's reachable especially since tiktok is like a little bit quicker with growth same thing with instagram i'd love to hit 10k by the end of the summer right now i'm at eight so i feel like that's a little less likely because instagram's a little more difficult but we'll see i'm just setting my goals high but reasonable because i want to challenge myself then for youtube i set my goal to be 2.5k i'm at around like 1.2k right now so that's just an idea of where i am right now and where i'm hoping to go with all of my platforms by the end of the summer and then my last like big goal for the summer is to plan out all of our travel just kind of like roughly plan it out for the rest of the year i also really would like to go on one like weekend trip this summer Next, for fun, I made a little summer bucket list. Just a tiny little one. First one is going on a boat and having a boat day. I've actually never done that. I think it would be so much fun to have a boat day with our friends. Next is to go to the springs. We've already gone to the springs this year, but I do want to go to a different one. I actually have two in mind that I would really like to go to. I'd also love to do a sunset swim or many, many sunset swims. And I would also love to do a sunrise swim and then go out to breakfast. I feel like that would be super fun. And I've never done that. My next bucket list goal is to plan a trip for the summer. I already kind of said that, but I would love to plan some sort of trip. And then the next one is to go paddle boarding with our friends. I feel like we go paddle boarding a lot, just the two of us, but I'd love to go with our friends. Those are my goals for the summer. I kind of wanted to keep it pretty simple, but also challenge myself to set some fun goals. I'm sure I'll think of more summer goals, but those are like my main ones for now. I do want to make like a vision board for the summer of like the box that I want for the summer. I feel like vision boards just make you extremely clear on your goals. And like I said, being clear on your goals and intentions is such a huge thing in terms of actually reaching your goals. I feel like it's extremely important to be very clear. I'm gonna put together my vision board, find some fun pictures to put on it. You pause this video and go do the same thing and then we'll meet back up and we'll chat about our vision boards. <laughs> summer vision board i just made it on pinterest and this is one thing like you don't have to make a full-on vision board every time you make one sometimes i just like keeping it on pinterest so that i can add to it and scroll through it basically what i have on it is all the adventures that i want to go on this summer some of my bigger like content creation goals and career goals some of the places i want to go so now that we've reset 
our goals and made a vision board. We need to do some cleaning of our space. I feel like a clean space is so important. Any reset, you have to clean and make sure your space is clear because it makes you have a much clearer like brain when your space isn't all cluttered and messy. I just want to organize and deep clean and kind of just get things set up to feel good for the summer. So that's what we're going to do. Another big thing for the summer for me is bikinis, swimwear, all of that, like cute things to wear. I bought a couple new swimsuits, so I figured that I'd do a mini bikini haul. I just picked up this blue one from PacSun. And just look at this bikini. It is so cute. It's this really adorable pattern and it's like this like blue and white kind of flower the bottoms are super super flattering so then another one i picked up is this pink one this is the top it's super cute and then these are the bottoms these are so cute i just love this pattern so much it's just adorable for the summertime next is these bikinis are both the same but i have one in purple and it's this like ruched material i also have the exact same one in blue these are just very flattering i just love this like kind of scrunch top vibe and like the bottoms are the same but these are just very very flattering and i have them in like three colors then the last one from pack sun this one's more white with pink flowers it's a bit more subtle of like a floral than the other one again this one is very perfect for the summer and then the bottoms are more of a scrunch like bottom and i really like that i don't have any suits like that and i actually really like this one and then the last one that i got for summer is from tj swim and they actually sent this one to me this is what it looks like the top is more of like a triangle but it doesn't like slide across it's like all attached and then the bottoms are extremely flattering i'll link all of these suits down below in case you're interested 
and getting any of them for the summertime. Those are all the bikinis that I picked up for the summertime. You don't need to buy anything new to reach your goals and like glow up this summer. Obviously none of the things I'm doing this video are a necessity for something you have to do to reach your goals this summer or to like glow up. It's all just ideas of things that you could do and inspiration for things that you could do to feel good this summer and work towards your goal. Okay, I just want to give you some additional tips for how to reach all your goals this summer and how to feel good doing it. So we already talked about getting clear on your goals, making a vision board, setting your goals, just getting very clear on what it is you want to accomplish. But there are two parts to actually reaching your goals and that is motivation, but also discipline. Obviously, I don't mean to be super strict about your goals or beat yourself up if you don't achieve your goal. No, I mean discipline in the sense of making it easier for yourself to achieve these goals and actually putting in work to achieve them if they are something that you want to achieve. You have to find balance. Obviously there's times where you want to be like really, really disciplined and then there's times where you don't want to do that and you want to have some balance and that is totally perfectly okay and that's what you should be doing. But the one thing that's been helping me is setting up systems to make these goals easier for me to achieve because I find a lot of the time when I don't have discipline and I'm not actively working towards my goals it's because there's something blocking me from doing it whether it's like I don't feel like getting up early in the morning or I don't know like what workout to do with the gym something is blocking me and keeping me from achieving my goals and I have some excuse as to why I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing or what I promised myself that I would do. So set up systems for yourself. I can't emphasize this enough. I feel like this is the one thing that's really, really helping me lately is setting up systems to make things easier. So think in your head something that is keeping you from achieving a goal that you really, really want to achieve. For me, one of my goals is to go to the gym three times a week and do strength training. One of the things that I was struggling with with going to the gym three times a week and one of the roadblocks I found I had was I didn't know what to do at the gym. So I made myself a workout schedule, like a workout split of what I'm doing on each day, but I also created little folders on my phone with screenshots of exercises for each kind of muscle group. And then when I get there, all I have to do is scroll through the screenshots, pick one that I want to do. And that has taken the roadblock away from going to the gym of, oh, I don't know what to do because I do know what to do because I have it all on that folder. So making things easier for yourself, kind of identify those roadblocks and then put something in place that makes it easier for you. <laughs> The other thing you need to do is make this lifestyle, these goals maintainable. At the end of the day, I feel like a lot of the time when I set goals, I go hard at my goals for like a couple weeks or a couple months and then I fall off of it for a while and then I get back on track and then I get back onto my goals. And this is fine. It works out so much better if you just set it up in a way that's actually maintainable so you're not falling off track and you don't feel bad about falling off track because it's not off track. It's just part of the balance that you've already set up in your routines. If you can't work out three times a week, set your goal to one and then work up to three times a week from there. Just make it maintainable and buildable. So just build upon your goals instead of setting this huge goal to work out like six days a week and then you only are going to the gym one day a week and then you feel really bad about it because I know I've done that and it just feels better and it's much more motivational if you set a maintainable, achievable goal and then build on it from there. Still challenge yourself, but make sure it's something that you can reasonably and realistically do. And then also just make sure you're having balance, doing self care and not being too hard on yourself because at the end of the day, Summertime is to have fun, but also I do think it's such a fun time to challenge yourself and set goals and work towards those goals. So definitely take this video with a grain of salt. This is just meant to inspire you and give you some ideas of how you can reach your goals this summer, how you can stay motivated and how you can like glow up this summer. I don't know why, but I don't like love that term. So hopefully this helped you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You don't have to do all of this. You don't have to do any of this. This is just stuff that has inspired me and makes me excited for the summer. I'm someone that just loves goal setting 
and I find it really fun. Even if I don't achieve the goals, it's still fun to work towards them and set goals. So if you're like me and you find that exciting and fun, this is the video for you. Definitely let me know if you like this style video down below because I haven't done a lot of videos in this style, but I had a lot of fun just chatting and setting goals and getting motivated for the summer. So don't be too hard on yourself and make sure to have fun this summer and do things that are exciting and fun. As you saw, a lot of my goals were more like fun goals and bucket list goals. Definitely find a good balance between goals that are a little more difficult and goals that are more fun. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below to my channel. I make a lot of lifestyle vlogs and life in Florida videos, beachy vlogs, stuff like that. Even like health and fitness content so if you're interested in any of that definitely check out my other videos and subscribe down below and i'll see you all in my next video